Good afternoon, my name is Jason Stepp with Stepp Manufacturing and today we're going to go over uh, a brief overview of the operations of the, the new Stepp SMMT, uh, which is our master mix trailer mounted unit. Um, this is our brand new model, we just introduced it here in 2016. Uh, it's kind of an in-between size of our small tailgate mounted unit and our large uh, trailer mounted SRM. Um, kind of a neat, unique little setup. It's really designed for, for going right out on the road and doing your patching right on the road. Uh, we're going to go over kind of front to back and we're going to do a little brief interview uh, of what the machine does and then we're going we're gonna to run some material and show you the recycling process. Alright, so we're going to start at the front of the machine. I always like to do that and kind of work our way back and tell you what we do and why we do it. Um, so this machine is obviously set up to dispense your millings from the back of your dump truck. Um, we've got some millings here in the truck. You can see they're really wet, which isn't awesome for recycling, but the machine doesn't care. It just takes a little bit longer to, to heat them up. But we dispense them out of the back of the dump truck into our little catch hopper, and it's just a rubber hopper here, so, so it'll, it'll receive uh, many different styles of trucks and configurations of dump trucks. Uh, but it, it drops it in and conveys it up into our pre preheat hopper up on top. Um, it's a miniature version of our big conveyor on our SRM 10x120. It's just a little shorter. It's still got the Chevron style belt, so there's not much spillage in that conveyor. Um, and this machine's really designed and intended to use it with millings, but it also can make virgin mixes also. So you can have, you know, a, a fine mix or a sand mix in your dump truck, and we just add a little different oil or a little bit more oil. Um, the one nice thing about using millings to recycle with is it already has a large percentage of the content of oil in it. Um, usually there's about four, three and a half to four percent of oil left in your millings and you usually need about five to six percent for a good patch mix or a good top mix. Um, so the nice part about using millings is a big part of the expense is already there in the milling with the oil so we don't have to add much oil to it. Um, this particular unit is diesel fired. Um, we only build this in a diesel fired. Uh, we do have a couple of different options on the, on the engine system. This particular unit's got the, the, the Honda gasoline engine, which powers a hydraulic system, which drives the conveyor and the mixer. Um, and you can see it's a Beckett diesel burner. That fires it. And it does fire into um, underneath the chamber. We actually have a U-shaped liner that our mixer paddles are in. Um, and, and we have an indirect heat, so that burner fires underneath those, the, the U-shaped liner um, and then wraps up around the sides and then dumps actually on top of the mixer. So we kind of reuse that exhaust heat to help dry those millings out and to heat them up and melt them. Um, we also do offer this unit with a Kubota diesel engine. Um, it is an upcharge for that. Um, the Honda engine is plenty enough to, to operate it. If you want one fuel source, we do offer that in a one fuel source system. Um, one other thing I do want to mention on the conveyor system uh, that we're going to show you later on in this video is this machine is designed to either receive millings from a dump truck or you see this extra arm here on the conveyor. It's designed to fold up and put the conveyor up in a level position um, for the bag style mix that we have that's already pre-mixed. You put the bag on the conveyor, it conveys it in and you heat up the material. Uh, so that it, it's, this machine is super versatile. Uh, you can use millings, you can use your own virgin aggregate, otherwise we do have bag mix that's already bagged up with the right amount of oil uh, and the right recipe for patching. Uh, we're going to reposition the camera here and then we're going to kind of go over the controls and then how the back end of the machine works. Alright, so we're going to go over the controls and, uh, to operate the mixer, the conveyor, and also the heater here also. Um, your, your conveyor is just simple forward and reverse. It is a flow control so you can control the speed of your mixer, or the speed of your auger, excuse me, or conveyor, excuse me, um, to convey the materials. We convey them into this top bin. So this top bin is basically the size of our batch. This particular unit will do about a 500 pound batch or a five cubic foot batch. Um, it's about half the size of a 10 by 120 SRM recycler, um, but it's about twice the size of our tailgate mixer. So it's, it's really sandwiched in between those two in size. Um, your mixture controls, again, very simple, you know, it's either in mix or it's in discharge. Um, so the way the mixer is designed, it's a pug mill mixer, it's much, built much like a mortar mixer, has a series of arms inside that mix and stir. Um, so in one direction it's just mixing, and then when we reverse it, it actually acts like an auger and augers the material out the back end onto the shoveling platform. Um, the control box um, to operate the burner is very simple. 
um, you have a manual mode or a, or a timer mode. The timer, um, the timer is going to be set to, to um, our specific milling. So, like the millings that we have today here are pretty wet, so we, we're running about a 15 or 16 minute batch time. Uh, if you have dry millings, uh, I've seen batches go as fast as seven or eight minutes. Uh, so a little bit of that depends on the moisture. But the longer the material is in the hopper with the burner firing, the hotter the material gets. So that is the one little tricky part about using your own millings is you got to get kind of that recipe. Um, and usually it takes a batch or two just kind of checking it out um, while you're mixing it. And you do have an inspection chamber to check your temperature while you're doing that. Um, so the, the, again, the timer is really just set there. Once you kind of get your recipe um, and your time set, you're not going to adjust that or, or probably screw around with that much during the day. Very simple to operate. You have an up and down arrow and then you just have a reset arrow. So you set your time, you hit reset and it zeroes it back and starts over. Um, the back end of the machine, this one's, this does have a little unique um, discharge system with a, with a new shoveling pan. Um, it's the same discharge system that's on the, the tailgate mixer but it does have a nicer new shoveling pan that does fold up so you can dump the material directly onto the ground. Um, on the tailgate mixer, you have to shovel it all. On the big machine, it folds up. So this is a little new style. Um, we're pretty excited about this because it gives you more flexibility um, with your patching. Now, the, the unit that we're looking at here today is a, is a fairly simple base unit. There's not much for options on here. Uh, but we do have shovel cleaning compartments and compactor plate carriers and, and, and a wide variety of strobe lights and things like that that we also offer on this particular unit. Uh, with that being said, we're going to go make some mix and show you how that operates and how that works. The temperature 